This video introduces our AE561D soldering iron. As you can see, it's digital, so you can read the temperature and single press to on and the temperature will heat up immediately from room temperature to the set temperature. And as you can see, um, there is a function key and the minus and the uh, plus key. So we only need to long press the function key and then you can see that will have the temperature locking and the auto slip and the unit switch from degree Celsius to Fahrenheit and calibrations. And this is the version of the program. So let's start from the temperature locking. So we long press the function key and the, the, disc, the LED statement shows LOC means locking and then single press the function key again to enter the setting and switch the from off to on right so for example we switch to on and then single press the function key to save and long press to exit the parameter settings now we cannot change the temperature you can see when i press the key and then the LED segment shows LOC, right? So long press to lock and then switch off, okay? Single press to save and then send to the another settings. For example, now uh, auto sleep. So sing single press again to enter the setting and then switch to on long press to save and then the unit uh, change single press to enter the setting and now from degree celsius switch to fahrenheit you can see now first of all we switch to fahrenheit uh, single press to save and the calibrations. Single press the function key to enter the setting, right? And then we uh, set the temperature gap according to the actual measurements, okay? And then single press to save. And now that's all. So we long press to enter the uh, digital display. Now it's 60, 60, 662 Fahrenheit degree. So we long press to uh, switch to degree Celsius. Okay. Now it's 350 degrees Celsius. It's very easy. This iron its uh, lowest temperature is 200 degrees Celsius and the highest temperature will be 500 degrees Celsius. So very wide temperature range, you can see. It's not stable yet and the iron is still in full power to add on. So we can now uh, switch to 350 degrees Celsius and measure the temperature. Now the room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Then we put on some tin. Then you can see the temperature precise.
Usually, this、uh, measurement takes two to three minutes to stabilize the temperature. Okay, I think we can stop here because you can see the temperature drops down very slow, slowly, and I believe the temperature,、uh, actual temperature, would not differ too many, right? And later, I will turn off the iron. So we turn off the iron with single、uh, button,、uh, function key to off. And wait till the temperature、uh, drops down to room temperature. And we will see again how long it will take to heat up from room temperature to three hundred and fifty degrees Celsius. So I cool down with my mouth.
Now we can use a time meter to calculate how long will it take from 31 30 degrees Celsius to 350 degrees Celsius. Now it's set to 350 degrees Celsius. Almost 20 seconds to reach the melt temperature.
You can see the iron stabilized the temperature gradually and reaching to the set 350 degrees Celsius. I think almost done here because there will be some temperature gap here. Okay, and there may be some uh, difference with different uh, temperature me meshing tool and the iron and also the environment and also the team here, there will be some differences, right? And see you, thank you for your time.